Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ann Manera. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another live color along. It's Thursday. I've got to make sure that the sound is right. Changes this morning when I logged on. So just give me a couple of minutes to get everything situated and to get my dog situated. But for those of you that are already here today, uh, good morning. Thank you for joining me. Hey, Alice and Mary and who else was here? Maybe, I believe. I had the event pop up and I had to push a button. Really? Watch now before it came up. Yeah, I don't know what happened today. Very, very, very weird. Isn't it weird? Oh, Scarlett thinks it's weird too. She says, this is crazy. I agree, Scarlett. All right, let me go get Scarlett, you know, the last one. And then we're going to get started. I'm using colored pencils today with um, olive oil. So, it's all about the food today. Come on, you guys. Let's go get this good. zoom in a little bit though so hang on to your hats okay there we go much better lighting is good oh so good morning is this a facebook change alice is asking i don't know you know when i um it's a good question when i uh do a live video i use um there's two ways of doing a live video probably information you don't really need, really expect to hear but i'll tell you anyway um, when you do a live video on Facebook, you just click live on Facebook, right? But there's other ways to do it where, um, you use a, a separate app and I use another app called switcher studio. Sometimes you might see that pop up. And the reason I use that is because it allows me to put that graphic at the beginning of the video. And it also allows me to mute my microphone, which I really feel is important at the beginning because you don't want to hear what I'm saying at the beginning of what I'm setting up. Right? You know, when technology is uh, not becoming not your friend and it's getting... This is the last one, by the way, Scarlett. When technology is just not cooperating. So I mute that. <laughs> and then the dogs are a little nuts. So I don't know what happened this morning, but when I went on that app, it was completely different. And it made me schedule it for some reason. And then when I went to go on, when I finally hit the live button, it gave me a different option. So too many changes for my brain today. I don't know about you guys, but too many changes for my brain. So how is everyone doing doing this morning? Hope everyone is uh, braving the heat, right? We're having heat, wa heat waves in most parts of the country. Last week was a hurricane. A lot of people asked um, how, I, how my area did for the hurricane, and we really did not get much. Hey, Jean. Um... We didn't really get much. When you saw everything on the news for Southern New England, it was all about the beach and what was happening at the coast. And I'm not at the beach. So um, we were lucky and we didn't get much. So a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind, not a big deal. So what are we doing today? We are coloring color with this grayscale page with colored pencils. I have some Crayola colored pencils. I have some Marco Rafine colored pencils. And then we're going to add oil at the end to get it to be a really, a really nice blend. So I'm going to pop a page underneath here. The other thing that we are doing, you're going to get bad weather too? Oh, thank goodness. Sure. I'm glad your air conditioning got fixed too, Alice. Um, my, my house is actually kind of cold right now. It's very hot. It was like 100 here yesterday. Isn't it crazy? Hey, good morning, Lynn. Um, so what else are we doing today? We are doing a few things. First of all, it's National Dog Day or International Dog Day, something like that, August 26th. And happy dog day is what i'm gonna say happy dog day and my new book dogs and puppies coloring book for all um is on amazon it's been out for about a week now and it is filled with all of these beautiful dogs from all of you that submitted dogs there's a second volume that'll be coming up i'm gonna be starting at the beginning of september so um if you if you've already submitted a dog and you've posted it on my facebook page or you've sent me a message i've been in contact with you but if you still want to do it, then you can. Um, so I'll be in touch with everyone. I'll be getting information. But Dogs and Puppies Coloring Book for All. Uh, these little doggies are um, 
They were adorable. I flipped through this book before. I'm not going to bore you with flipping through the whole thing right now. But um, this is what's happening. This is my exciting book. So my contribution to Dog Day, National Dog Day. So 24 pages to color. And then it's got these pages in the back uh, called Meet the Dogs. And there's little dogs on all of these. So little with their names. So you get to kind of say, okay, well, um, there they are. And I have a few of my own dogs in here. Um, five of my own dogs in here, actually. So Scarlet and Paisley, of course, and then my dogs that are no longer with me, uh, Willie, Georgia, and May are all in there also. So that's what's happening today with that. Um, the other thing that's happening that I want to tell you about this morning is that we are doing a buddy color along in the Just Color Coloring group. And it's set up as, as an event. There's a free page. It's this Flamingo page. And I thought it'd be fun to do this in a different way where we kind of talk to each other, get to know each other. Good morning, Billy Joe. And uh, tell each other about what we did when we colored the page. What did we do? Uh, what kind of techniques did you use? What colors did you use? What, what product did you use to color it? And I'll be coloring this page also along with everybody. Uh, we're not doing it as, as a live video, but instead we're just going to kind of... Um, just kind of color the same page all together, post that page, and kind of just have a, a, a little bit of a conversation going. Um, the other thing, which I wish there was more people here right now, because this is a question that I ask myself every single day, and I don't know if anybody else is asking themselves this question, but have you noticed in the Just Color Coloring group that um, there's a post that Carol posted um, about take we take a word and leave leave take a word and leave a word. Right? It has been going since August 1st. Now, Lynn, I know you and I have talked about this before, and Lynn told me that it should stay because it pops up on everybody's feed every day and it kind of brings them to the group. It's getting a lot of attention. It's still going. I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, I don't know what we, whether we should leave it. What do you all think? Tell me what you guys think about this. Should we leave it? I know this is kind of a pressing, um, this is my only, my problem today. This is going to be my only problem today, trying to figure out what I should do with this. Um, uh, I mean, should we leave it? Should we uh, get rid of it? Should we let it run and just say, wow, maybe we're going to make the Guinness Book of World Records? I, I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. Um, and if you're watching the replay on YouTube, uh, you can tell me what you think in those comments too. Now I only use Zoom Alice for, um, uh, live painting classes and, um, yeah, just live painting classes in different other type of events I use it for. Lynn is, Lynn is saying to leave it. I still contribute every few days. Um, yeah, I don't want it to be annoying. You know, I don't, I'm going to start coloring by the way, while I'm, while I'm just chatting about this. Um, I'm going to start out with some yellow and I'm going to add it to, um, these flowers. Um, I don't want it to start to be like people saying, oh, here it goes, here it goes. All right. So everyone's saying, leave it. Mary and May and, and Mamie are saying, leave it. All right. I'm going to leave it. I just don't want people to start saying there's that thing again, popping up. It is kind of fun, isn't it? The other part is, man, like, imagine how, like, how long is it going to go? That's going to be interesting to see. That's what I'm hope. I'm wondering. This is the first time hearing it had been very busy with appointments. Yeah, it's this, um, it's this comment on the Just Color Coloring Group. So go ahead and check that out, Billy Joe. It's very, very interesting what's been going on. Um, you do, everyone does, there's so many people that are contributing to it that never really comment in the group. So, um, that's why I think I want to leave it. So, but I don't want to bug everybody. So that's my story about that. So we've decided, uh, meeting a jury, uh, we, we have a, a yay on this. Okay. So topic closed. See if Congress and set, it's the Congress and the Senate was like this, they would get a lot more things done much quickly. Don't you think? If they just had like a live video, they colored, they chatted, uh, they talked about what type of laws to bills to pass. I'm telling you, don't you think, Lynn? This is the way they. Sh this is the the format they should adapt, and then we wouldn't have any questions about what the heck is going on in this country. Oh my goodness! Back to our conversation from last week when we were talking about uh, if the world was if we were in charge. If anybody asks us what was happening, can anybody hear music? By the way. Because there's music playing for the dogs in the other room. And I don't know if it's coming up on the uh, 
audio. I don't want to get kicked out. All right, so I'm just coloring all of these little flowers with yellow. This kind of reminds me of a forsythia shrub or tree or bush, or I don't even know what it's called. And I just want to make all of these uh, yellow. There was a few other things I wanted to talk about with you all today, too, about what's happening. Um... What was the other thing? Definitely, they all have their underlying agendas. Hey, good morning, Dawn. What else did I want to tell you? Oh, I wanted to let you know some things that I was working on here behind the scenes in the coloring book world. Um, I am going to be doing a second volume of the dog book. That's going to be starting in September. I wanted to just kind of like take a little bit of a break from all of it. And, um, and then I'll get started on it. But in the meantime... Be, while I've been taking my little break, I'm working on a new gnome coloring book. Did everyone see those? I'll show you those today, actually. Uh, maybe I'll ink a, ink a page or two while we're here together this morning. But I've started this uh, this funky little gnome book. I'm not sure what it's going to be called. Um, but this is my new gnome book. And I've kind of combined this new gnome book with like different techniques or different other books. So here's like a frenzy style book with this like abstract background. Um, I'm making this book on a vertical vertical orientation rather than horizontal. Um, and some of them have one pay, one gnome on them. Some of them have more. Of course, there's Lynn's favorite, the mushrooms. Um, this one, I'm not sure what's happening in the background. It's my scribble of flowers, so he's waiting for something to the back, to add to the background. A couple of gnomes here. Um, traveling gnomes could be. That's a good one. And this page, for example, I'm... Um, uh, at a loss as to whether or not I leave it blank like this where those uh, butterflies are in the background or I add something to it. Thank you, Mamie. Um, here's one that's kind of reminds me of like a springtime whimsy with those houses being pulled in. And there's some pages that have some dogs. Here's one with a dog and some mushrooms. Uh, this guy is still in his pajamas and he needs to get dressed and start his day. But this is still being worked on. Um, I don't know if you can see this one, but it's got a dog in it. Here's another one with these three guys in pencil so far. Um, here's another one with a whole bunch of dogs. So um, we could ink one of them today. Maybe we'll ink this one. I heard there's a 36 set of new Black Widow pencils, Gina's saying, coming out. I have two, and I've also seen a lot of information about it. So I've seen that, and I don't know the answer. And I guess I should contact our friend Albert Jones, but... Um, I don't really know the answer to this question, but I have seen that it has either a dragon on it or some other sort of flying, I want to say flying monkey, but it's creepy. Whatever it is, if it came flying at me, I would not want to be in that room. So, um, yeah, so I don't know what's happening. I know he said it's coming out. So apparently the, the word on the street is that uh, Amazon leaked that uh, picture by accident. They put the picture up. I don't know. So I don't know what is happening. Does anybody else know about that? I've got to get in touch with Albert because I want to do a giveaway on that. And he's going to have to give us do a giveaway. I don't know. We'll have to get in touch with him. So, all right. What, so what else is going on? Let me see. So I've got the gnome book I'm working on. I've got um, the do second dog book that's going to be starting in September. Um, drawer alongs, which are pre-recorded, right? We've been doing the pre-recorded, are moving to uh, live, back to live on September um, 15th, I believe. So next week's drawer along on September 1st, if you're part of the drawer along group, um, is a, will be a pre-recorded video. And then the next one is on September 15th. I think, do I have the correct date? If the first is on a Wednesday, right? Then the seventh, then it'll be eight, 15. Yeah, 15. Um, so the 15th will go back to live. So I hope that's that's great for everybody. And then there'll of course be the replay and I'll add the replay um, to that YouTube link again as, I, as I've been doing. Um, I had some personal stuff happening and I needed to drop to drop back oh, to take some time away from the lives so that's why i did that and i've uh if you want to know what's happening you can message me but i'm not going to talk about it while i'm live um so that's what's happening 
How about one with the mountain in the background and a couple of trees and gnomes, Alice is saying. I think I have a couple of them with, um, with trees happening. And I know I have one that I was working on that had um, a palm tree couple of palm trees palm trees are difficult to draw i don't know what happens to me i try to draw the leaves and all of a sudden it just becomes uh like you can't get i don't know i can't get the angle right of the palm tree leaves it's very weird lynn is saying i never know how to color gnomes they have no faces well i just always color them with um the color of their beards like in a multicolored thing going on that's kind of cool to do it that way what else did I want to tell you? There was something else. I gotta keep track here. All right, so we've got draw alongs going back to live, right? Okay. Coming along volume 16, which is the book we're working on right now, is uh, today and next Thursday is the last color along for color along volume uh, 16. And then color along volume 17 begins on September 16th. There is a September 16th. So there will not be a color along on September 9th. Um, so I don't know. Go outside, get some fresh air, I guess, right? There will not be a color along on September 9th. The other thing I wanted to tell you was that I am part of... It's a lot happening, right? I'm part of a new group. It's an artist collective. And it's a group with other artists. And... Uh, we are going to be selling our artwork that is non-coloring. Well, some people can sell coloring books or something coloring, but I think for the most part, it's not really going to be anything to do with coloring books. I'm going to be selling uh, original paintings, original felted paintings that I've been working on. Um, and I'm going to be selling some original drawings, some tote bags, some pillows. It's called the Creative Soul. Hey, good morning, Laurel. The Creative Souls... Uh, collective and um, Deborah Mullet is part of it and Nola Hensel is part of it and we begin on September 1st so if you are interested in uh, joining that group um, head over to my Facebook page and there's a link for it and you can um, you can see that link but basically it's going to be an auction style format where um, every few for there'll be an auction that'll run for three days on different uh, different pieces of artwork so so I'm excited about that. I'm excited because uh, it's a wonderful group of artists. There's a couple of other artists also that are involved. Um, and new ones are going to, be do, going to be joining us. So it's a chance to meet some new artists, see some new artwork, uh, share it on your Facebook page. It's a public group. So um, it's not that it's, you can just share it with anybody really. How do you know they have a face? Alice is saying gnomes have a face, but you can only see their nose. And Lynn is saying, how do you know they have a face? How do you know they have a face? Maybe they are faceless little creatures, right? I think they might be faceless. And all they have is a nose. And that's what makes them so weird. I don't know. Does anybody else have any insight about this whole, uh, why do, do gnomes have a face? Is this one of those questions, Lynn? Like, do rocks breathe? Are we, are we getting in, into that whole philosophical thing uh, now do rocks breathe? I'm going to take this darker brown and just kind of tap, tap, hit these areas that are uh, kind of the darker parts of the basket. So um, if you've never colored grayscale before, but I know you all have because I know who's here today. Um, you want to focus on the lights and the darks. And focus on coloring one section at a time. So I'm just kind of giving this a darker section here. All right, did I tell everybody what else? You make grayscale look so easy, it intimidates me a little, a little Laurel saying. You shouldn't be intimidated by it at all. I'm going to tell you. It is completely, um, it's just so easy. Have you tried any at all? You can't think about it too much. You just have to do it, you know? Just have to go for it.
So I'm just real. It's almost like you just kind of like oh, a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, right? You do hair music. All right, I gotta go turn it off. Hold on a second. Thank you, Lynn. I'm just thinking that Lynn's reading my mind today. Okay, I turned it off. I'll get kicked off Facebook if they hear that. They would be walk if they did not have a face. They would be walking into walls and falling off cliffs, and they would be a hospital just for gnomes. And you know where that hospital is? It's at, Al it's at Alice's house. <laughs> Alice is opening a hospital for gnomes. I heard she's serving pizza. <laughs> oh my goodness. Got a lot of comments about last week's conversation during the, during the color along. Apparently we, we cracked some people up that were uh, just watching the replay. I don't know. I didn't think it was that hysterical, but I've tried a few, but it just doesn't turn out very well. Hey, you know what, Laurel? Go over to my, my website, annemanera.com, and there's some free uh, Grayscale pages. As a matter of fact, there's one of them that um, it's like a coloring demo, and it, you can click on the page. You can get a free page, and then you can also um, watch a video of it. So there's a, a YouTube video for it. So that'll be a good way to try it out. So I'm just going to use this... Um, this brown color for the cutting board. Now, I kind of shifted my, my book around a little, my page around, because what I want to do is color in the direction of the object. So that's the other part that, that's key to it too, Laurel, is that you want to kind of color in the, uh, in the direction of what you're coloring. And you want to make sure that you allow for the grays and the, the docks and the lights in the photograph to guide you. Yes, I think they are cherry tomatoes on the right. What an odd mix of uh, food here, isn't it? I'm going to make them red. Cherry tomatoes, red, you know. That's what I think. And I'm just kind of using this. Uh, these are, This is a Crayola. So, for example, this one right here, I'm not going to, like, I'm barely touching it. I don't want to color it very dark, but I'm also coloring in the direction of the actual tomato. Do you say tomato or do you say tomato? Oh, Mamie. Mamie saying grayscale used to intimidate me too, but Anne inspired me to give it a try and now I love it. Yeah, I, I would just say give it a try. Oh, Alice, that's a good way to think of a gnome. Gnomes are as real as your imagination can be. Imagine if they were kind of like walking around down the street. There should be a, um, maybe I should do a, a needle felting gnome. That would be kind of cool. Just like an, a 3D one. And these are grapes in the background. So, um, but I do want to go with, um, this red here. I'm making, this is going to be an apple apple i'm gonna make this one a tomato so i'm gonna go back with maybe that's a persimmons though like it looks like it should be orange doesn't it what is the fruit on the cutting board i think it's a peach looks like a peach so when i'm done with this page today i'm gonna to put some olive oil on tie on top of it oh lynn i don't think you lack imagination picture those gnomes dancing That would be fun, wouldn't it? Dancing Gnomes. That would be a cool book. Dancing Gnomes. Here we come. I'm going to go with this orangey color for the peach. I do love a peach. And then I'm going to mix it with a little bit of uh, a little bit of red for the skin. And I'm going to make the inside. I mean, they say a peach, right? Peach color, but I think a peach is more of an orangey color. And you always, you always know a good peach by that uh, very dark pit, the very dark center. When that's really red, it's a good peach, right? Gnomes go to a hospital. Gnomes walking down the street. <laughs> yeah, picture that today. Gnomes walking down the street. I'm going to make this kind of like a darker color here on that knife.
Maybe I should have put some gnomes in a mask. That would have been interesting, right? Here's another one here that's kind of like a silvery color. And then what else do we have? We have another apple. I have these in this case, but you know, sometimes it's just like too much work. Here's another apple here. And then I'm going to take my brown and kind of do that little tiny stem right there. And this apple right here looks like it should be maybe a green apple, Granny Smith. It does give me ideas for new books. You are so right, Alice. I think the color alongs are like the, the, the best place to get new ideas for books. I feel like when I started doing color alongs, um, the number of books that I, I've been able to create has really, really increased. All right, we need some more yellow because I think this is a flower that fell off the plant, off the thing here, off the vase. I don't know what happened to it. Here's another one that kind of fell. Blowing in the wind, it must have been a gnome. The gnome came out, took it all out of there. It said, that's it, get out of here. We don't want you here anymore. Yep, it's a brainstorm session. I'm telling you, it is. I don't know what happened with this new gnome book, but one day I was just kind of sitting there thinking, man, it's hot outside is what I was thinking. And I was thinking about how hot it actually was and how much I just wanted to just stop sweating and just sit still. And I started drawing. And the next thing you know, I had these gnomes. But there would be a good one. Sweaty gnomes, right? Gnomes in the heat. Gnomes in snow. Lynn, gnomes have big noses, so they would be in a hospital with broken noses. Maybe they would be considered very nosy. Did anyone ever, did anyone see this woman, actually, speaking of nosy, she posted on Facebook, she had uh, Mrs. Kravitz from Bewitched. Um, we all know Mrs. Kravitz, right? The nosy neighbor on Bewitched. She made her out of polymer clay. It was hysterical. She really does look, I mean, she looked completely real. I was thinking to myself, what an odd thing to be uh, creating, Mrs. Kravitz. Isn't that weird? Does anybody else think that's weird? Creating Mrs. Kravitz. It was like, I don't know. So you, you think that these gnomes are going to go to the hospital because of their noses? I don't know. Nosy little buggers, aren't they? I'm telling you. It's a nosy world we live in. People are being nosy. I'm just going to put kind of like a little bit of an edge on here and kind of like a little darker section in that um, little hole in the cutting board, you know? Um, and then this towel, there's a towel that's there, and I feel like it could be like a green color. I think I had a lime green. This is called um, lemon yellow. It does not look like lemon yellow to me. Oh, let's do it blue. Did you see the clay image? It was fun, wasn't it? All right, so this is just going to be kind of a blue towel. This is uh, turquoise. Turquoise color. So does anybody belong to this crazy Facebook group I'm part of, uh, Deals and Code Junkies? Does anyone belong to that? Um, they have all these different items that you can buy at deep discount prices. They have, like, coupon codes. It's a, it makes me spend money is what it does, but the deals are incredible. I mean, I it's like, does anybody ever feel like they just need to buy something just because it's a deal? Like the other day I did buy a box of um, those blue uh, face masks, a box of 50 for $1.99 because I had a coupon. Not that I needed it anymore, but because I had a coupon. Then what else did I buy? Oh, no, I didn't buy that. There was a, um, I decided that I do not need it. It was a like a pop-up uh, like gazebo thing, right? Um, I'm waving my hands in the air. You can't even see them. But anyway, it was a pop-up gazebo thing, and it was regularly $199. And after the, the coupons and the deals and everything else that they posted, it was only $69. And it's, it was in my shopping cart, and I said, my goodness, do I need this? Um, no. If they walked into a wall, Alice is saying, their nose would hit first. That is true. 
and it would be squished. Do you think that they have a stuffed up feeling in their nose? Like they have like a constant cold all the time? Don't they kind of look like they would? They kind of look like they have like a, um, I don't know if it's a stuffed up feeling or I think they're also nosy. That's my opinion about them. All right. So this one is slate. So I'm going to put slate on this bottom section here kind of on its edge or on an angle so that everything else will kind of just pop. I also pulled out my black, which is very, very, oh no, maybe this is not black. Yes, it is. I also pulled out black, which has a really good point and I want to make sure that I can go back in and highlight stuff or low light them, right? I'm going to take um, a very light blue for this glass that's here. I'm just going to color right on top of it and it will just kind of do its own thing to let me know that that's glass. And then you can see that I have the cup and I have the plate and I'm leaving that the way it is because I want to make sure they don't have to see underwater lens. They can just know because gnomes know, right? That would be a good title for a book, wouldn't it? Gnomes know. Stuff gnomes know. Gnomes know. Gnomes know what they know. So I'm adding a little bit of black underneath this plate right here. And I'm leaving the plate uncolored because I want it to be the whitest of the white. I'm leaving the cup white because I want it to be the whitest of the white also. But I am going to put kind of a little bit of black in here. Just to kind of highlight or just kind of accentuate where the black, where that kind of shadow is. Underneath my... My cherry tomatoes, an item that I love. I eat a little lot of tomatoes. Again, underneath that peach, underneath the apple, just to kind of give it like some ground. Okay. Oh, and now you are using your imagination. A gnome with a cold and a thermometer coming out of their beard. Oh, that would be funny, actually. I have a weird imagination, Alice. Haven't you? You don't. You must know that by now, right? Just like stick with me for the day and the stuff that, that comes out of my head. It's, it's crowded in my head, you know. Those no a gnome with a cold and a thermometer coming out of their beard. I think a gnome with, with a mask would be cool. I don't know what would happen to their nose though. It would be like, um, it would have to be a very giant mask because of their giant nose. That would be funny. Just putting a little bit of black here. And then I put a little bit of black on the inside of there, but I'm also going to add a little bit of black to here. Now, the background could stay completely uncolored and just kind of like do its own thing. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of blue to my, my towel that's sticking out of here. So here's the turquoise color. And then I'll go back over it with maybe green. That would be cool, right? Green and turquoise for these little stripes that are here. The pattern that's created. And I'm just going to add a little bit of black right there and right here. I think the Lynn has a good imagination. I'll tell you, there's not a lot of people watching today, which is weird. I mean, I'm glad you were all here, believe me, but I think something is up with Facebook today. Maybe it's just not popping up like it usually does. Now, see underneath here, we kind of have these little like spots. I'm kind of adding a little bit of black underneath there so that I want the the um, cutting board to kind of look like it is actually on <laughs> on the um, on this uh, towel, but it's not completely blended in with it. So it's lifted up. 
right? A gnome diving into water. Yeah, that would be funny. And just think, if it ever hit the bottom with its nose, it has that squishy thing to protect it. I wonder if gnomes get made fun of by other gnomes because of their size of their nose. Poor gnomes getting a bad rap from us, right? I don't know. If somebody said to you, ooh, that was not the pencil I wanted. Oh my goodness. I put brown in there instead of yellow. Just adding a little bit more yellow into here. Um, if somebody said to you, what happens in a color along? How would you describe it? Right? It's weird. Very, very strange. So I hope you go to, you can all participate in the, um, the buddy color along. I think that would be cool. So what I'm going to do today also is when we're done with this, after we add the oil, I'll ink a page of that, um, of the gnome book. I think that would be fun. Remember when I used to do draw live? That was fun, wasn't it? Draw live. Then I stopped doing it because no one was really watching draw live. I'm going to just add some oil. Now I have just regular olive oil. It's a thick olive oil. It's very yellow. Um, and I'm just going to paint it on each object with the paintbrush. So I'm just going to just add it on top of the colors that are there. It'll make it pop. I don't want to just take a big brush and just go over the whole thing. I am going to leave the background completely uncolored. Um, I think if I went over the complete background, it would, I don't know, just wouldn't be right. Just ain't right, you know? So what it's doing is it's just kind of making you pop it. I'm using very, very little. I'm not using a lot of it. Just kind of grazing it a little bit. Here's the cutting board. You don't need a lot of it at all. There's like hardly any in here. And I popped this, I put it in a container and then I took this lid and I put it on an angle. And then I, this way it's kind of dripping down and it's a way for me to kind of like dip and then go up. Does that make sense? Like kind of like wipe off your brush. And I didn't really do anything to this uh, dish here, so I'm not going to really do anything to that with the oil. Which picture, Lynn? The one from the Procreate class? My grapes right here. Jean's holding me accountable for those grapes. I almost missed them. Thank you, Jean. I was like, oh my goodness. And don't forget, I did do down this bottom section here. So we're just kind of, I like the contrast between the towel and our basket. It's really making it pop. Why is my computer going, going black? What's happening here? Did, is it still there? Let me see something's happening here. Um, all right, I think it's okay. Whew, just like went totally black. I don't know what happened. Just stopped. Okay. Lynn says she sees it. That's all that counts. See the difference this is making? Is it making a difference to you? So you can use baby oil, olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, really only any type of oil. Um, but I'm not doing anything to the back. I'm not even going to add anything to the back. Okay? And that's it. I'm going to consider it complete. 
I don't want to do anything else to it. It did freeze. Yeah, I don't know why it froze. It's weird, isn't it? Very, very weird. So I think that hopefully, if Laurel is still watching, um, you can give it a try with that. Take a look at what's on my my face my uh, website, and you can get a couple of pages. Um, Okay. All right, so I'm going to, I mean, if you want to stick around, I'm going to ink um, a page from my, um, from my gnome book that I'm working on. I'm just going to put a piece of paper over this, but really you can just kind of let it dry in the air and just kind of let it, let it just kind of dry a little bit. So that is a grayscale with olive oil. Lunch. It's lunch today, right? It's like you're cooking with coloring. <laughs> now that would be crazy talk, right? So, all right, so this is the page I'm drawing today. And um, I feel like maybe I need to have some, something in this foreground. Maybe I need to have some grass or, no, I'm just gonna leave nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with these guys down here in the foreground. And Apparently, these dogs think the gnomes are like, you know, maybe the, they think the gnomes have biscuits to share. My dogs might leave me for a gnome. They might say, we're out of here, right? We're out of here. Those gnomes, they have, they have what we need. Biscuits. That's all they care about. Just here for the food. Give it a little bit of a a tag. There's his feet. This guy needs a tail. And then this guy right here. So I kind of have to start where I can't, like I have to make sure that I don't, like, like what is in front of each other is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I was having trouble concentrating for a minute there. And this guy's tail, yeah, I'm not sure if this guy's going to get a tail or not. His tail's behind everybody. It's just being wagged out, wagged out, wagged out, you know? All right, let's move on to the, the gnomes on this side, or the, the dogs on this side. So here's this guy right here. Do you like the eyes uh, colored in with black or open? To, I, I don't know. I guess I've been doing like both. Some have them, some don't. Like that. So this guy's got a little bit of a, a different situation here with the ears. I don't know how these gnomes are going to hold these dogs. They look like they don't have the, the hand power to hold them. Yeah, I feel like the black line should be, or the black, um, like the eye should be colored in, you know? Because if not, it kind of starts to look like, um, I don't know, it just kind of starts to look creepy. Start with this guy right here. Here's his beard. And I feel like the beards kind of need like a little bit of like lines in the middle. I watched the Bob Ross documentary last night. I've been meaning to do that. I need to watch that. I felt so badly that the couple took over all of his rights to his name. I know I did. I was reading about the Bob Rights, the Bob Rights, the Bob Ross documentary. And it was all about, like, what was behind all of that. Um, yeah, they took over all the rights. It's terrible. And this guy looks like he needs to have some decoration on his clothes. Give him a button. 
for the corner. Sounds like my computer is going to make that weird noise again. Do a gnome page with cats for the cat lovers. I have one. Maybe. I do. I do have a cat one. I have cat. There's one in here that I was. It's not inked yet, but it does have a cat. Let me see if I can find it. Mm, there's a dog. I think it has a dog and a cat on the same page. Um, here it is. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? A leash will hold the dogs back. I'm not sure if the leash, if these dogs are going to listen to these gnomes. Because I feel like these dogs are going to think to the, think that these gnomes are kind of a joke. Right? What do you think? I feel like they're going to say, you know what, Mr. Gnome, you're not the boss of me. Although I think Scarlet thinks that about me. Scarlet says that a lot about me. She's like, you're not the boss of me. Give him a little bit of decoration on his hat. Give him another one. And then this dude. They do remind me of ZZ Top, though. So there's that little section there. And then this guy looks like he needs to have a little bit of a, a decor going on behind there. Give him some little swoops in his hat. I mean, in his beard. You gotta wonder what's inside that beard. Maybe this thing's in there. Maybe that's where they keep their money. I bet they do. I bet they keep their money in that beard. I think Alice is probably laughing at that. Give it a little bit of a, an arm down there. But see, down here, it doesn't really do anything because we kind of have all of this happening with the dogs in front of it, so that's not going to be anything down there. Give him some little hairs. And I bought a book about How to Drug Cats by Lamosha. He was featured on Cat People Documentary. If the gnomes had biscuits, the dogs would listen to them. That's just true. Maybe they could keep the biscuits in their beard. You could do ZZ Top gnomes. I know. That would, was think they don't they look like ZZ Top? I mean, they definitely look like they're shop dressed men, don't they? Kind of crazy, crazy gnomes. How is the book, Lynn? I'm gonna kind of shift this around so I can do this line on the side, and then shift around again. You know, pivot. Hey, I watch. Um, I watch these two guys on YouTube every week, Tyler and Todd. Does anybody follow these follow these two guys on YouTube? Tyler and Todd, um, this couple, they live in the Canadian forest on like 10 acres of land and they are off grid and they're developing the land um, into this huge, you have to check them out, Tyler and Todd. Anyway, they have two dogs, Charlie and Eddie, they're golden retrievers and really I watch them. Well, they're, Tyler and Todd are interesting, but I love seeing the dogs too, so... Um, they do a lot of fun things with Charlie and Eddie, and but they really built a lot of crazy things. Well, the other day, they were uh, there was something that happened in the video where they needed to move something and they needed to pivot, and they said pivot, and then they kind of inserted the the friends clip of pivot into their video. It was it cracked me up. I feel like I would get along with them. I feel like I could be friends with them. And I could just like hang around with them because they have my kind of humor. I'm not able to draw cats from his directions. Need a lot of practice. I had a lot of trouble drawing cats when I first started drawing a cat. And I'm still not great at it. But I had to kind of say, how can I make these cats my own? And that's when I kind of said, okay, here we go. All right, so now the background section of this, I'm going to just kind of add um, different things to it. It was a big decision as to whether or not to make this book uh, vertical like this or horizontal. And I know that there's a couple other artists out there right now that have some gnome books that they just released. I know Deborah Muller just released a new gnome book. I know Tabitha Barnett just released a new gnome book. You know what? This gnome book was kind of like bouncing around my head. And I don't even follow what other people are doing. I mean, I only know that because I just saw it the other day. But I'm not paying attention.
Oh, thank you, Mamie. I'm looking forward to it, too. I have a lot drawn so far, believe it or not. I think I'm like, maybe, I think I have like half of it done. But then comes the boring part of scanning and putting it all together. And I feel like I need like a team of people just to do that for me. And now Amazon has this new thing where I can add more information. Have you checked this out on my dogs and puppy book? In my three coloring handbooks, I have added more information. Go check it out on Amazon. Let me know what you think of how it looks. Because um, it's time-consuming to put it all together, but I'm hoping that it will um, be worth it in the, in the long run. So there's uh, photos of the inside. It allowed me to add a lot more uh, content to help promote the book. So hopefully you can... Uh, you can check it out. I did it to the dogs and puppy books so far. I did it to my uh, three coloring handbooks. And next I will do it to some other coloring books, but I can't backtrack. I think I'm, I have a few more books left to go. Um, and I'll hit 300 books. Everyone has their own style, Alice is saying, so don't so it don't matter if others are making gnomes. Thank you, Alice. I appreciate you saying that. All right, so that's that page finished. And I'm gonna leave the bottom section um, that you can fill in your own thing there. Maybe add some grass or maybe add some sort of texture there. And this is the one with the cat. Now, I'm not going to ink this one while we're live because my pump, my palm trees, I was going to say my pumpkins, my palm trees are in trouble. They are not good. Um, what time is it? I think I can ink one more. Let me see what else I have here. The palm trees on that one are just got, they have trouble. It's too much pressure. Hmm. Do I have any more? Oh, I can finish. Let's finish this dude. This guy right here. In his pajamas. Look at him in his pajamas. He was like, I'm not getting dressed today. Let's see if I can do something to these. All right, so let's say, let's do like a recap here of what happened, what we did today. Um, thank you for all still continuing to watch today, by the way. Um, so let's see, we have uh, one more color along for volume 16, which will be next when, next Thursday. Color along volume 17 begins on September 16th. It should really begin on September 17th, right? But no, September 16th. And then um, drawer alongs will be back to being live on September 15th. Um, September 1st, draw along will be pre-recorded. Uh, what else is going on? 